Okay, so first things first, we're gonna need Node. So if you haven't already installed Node on your computer, you need to go ahead and do that right now. So I'm just gonna head over to Google and type in Node. Oops, it auto-corrected me straight to the website. Let's do that again, Node. And the first thing that pops up is nodejs.org. That's the website for Node. Go ahead and click on that. And we go straight to the download section right here. And it's sort of already figured out that I'm on a 64-bit computer. You probably are too. Nobody has a 32-bit computer these days. So what we need here is one of these. And so this one says current with latest features. So you may be tempted to download that. I suggest you download this one though. This is the long-term support, um, sort of the, the latest stable version. This is sort of the um, maybe stable, maybe not. We don't need the latest greatest in order to, to do what we're gonna do with this course. So most of the time you're gonna wanna download this one. Now, right now we're on version 10.15.3. If by the time you watch this course, it's a different version, that's perfectly fine. Whatever the, the most recent version listed right here is, that's the one that you want. So if you're on a Linux or Mac, it probably already determined that and it's giving you the link to the Linux or Mac version. Go ahead and, and download and install that. So like I said, I'm on a Windows computer, so I'm gonna go ahead and click this and it pops right up. You can download this, uh, save it anywhere on your computer. I'm just gonna save it on the desktop and uh, I've already downloaded it in the past. So it's giving me a little one next to it. Yours won't have that. Go ahead and click save, uh, already exists. Like I said, I've already downloaded it. Yes, downloads again. So down here, you can see when, when it's finished downloading, you, there's a little link, or you can navigate to like your desktop or wherever you saved it and double click on it there. I'm just gonna click on it right here and click run. Hold this over. So this is the setup wizard. We are, it just, it takes a minute to compute space requirements. I'm not really sure why. I'm just gonna wait for a second for it to do its thing. And okay, the setup wizard will install Node.js on your computer. Click next. This is just the standard license. Click accept and then next. And now you can install this anywhere. I'm just gonna select the default program files, Node.js, doesn't really matter. And we want to make sure that this is add to path, right? We want this, if you're on a Windows computer, added to your Windows path. And that just means that we can run Node anywhere on our computer. We don't have to be in a certain directory in order for it to work. So it's already done this by default, so we don't have to do anything. Click Next. And then finally click this Install button. Now I'm not gonna do this because I've already installed Node on my computer, but you can go ahead and do that. I'm just gonna click Cancel and finish. And now you're gonna wanna probably restart your computer. I don't know if it prompts you to do that or not, but it's a good idea to restart your computer um, when you first install Node. Now you may have an older version of Node on your computer and not even know it. Um, so if you get any sort of errors, go ahead and search your old programs, go down to your Windows Start menu, and I'm just gonna pull this up here, Control, hit the Control Panel, and then uninstall a program and then come down here and find node. And if there's a different version, see right here, the version number, if there's an older version, just right click and uninstall and then come back and re-download and install it again. It should work fine. Again, restart your computer and you should be good to go. So that's all it takes to install, download and install node. Very easy, nothing complicated about it at all. So that's all for this video. In the next video, we'll take a look at some of the other tools we're gonna need and uh, go from there.